Hello and good morning everyone. In the next couple of minutes I would like to tell you something about the automatic monitoring of birds in marine video content. Uh, within the framework of the amazing um, LifeWatch, several bird cameras were installed along the Belgian coast and this allows scientists to observe birds and their behavior from a distance. Well, next to the behavior, it's also interesting to know how many birds are actually in that particular place during a certain time frame. Of course, this can be uh, retrieved by the scientists or by students by just looking at the images and trying to count the birds. But this is very, very time consuming and of course, very boring. So we've come up with an automatic processing of these images. How is this done? There's three easy steps. Well, easy to talk about, but hard to, to, uh, to come by. It's first to remove as much of the background as possible without removing any birds. Then um, what remains you have to identify as birds or as water. And all the birds needs to be tracked within the, the video frame, within the video to, uh, to uh, make sure you don't count any birds twice. I will try to explain the next, uh, the first two steps while also explaining some of the buzzwords you can see on the right. The first buzzword is computer vision. I'm pretty sure everybody in this room already seen what computer vision can do. Uh, I would like to warn the people who are not familiar with uh, the magic of Hollywood for the next uh, for the next slides, because the all uh, active things you see in the background are actually not there. Uh, this is the actual raw footage of these movies, and as you can see. Actors always act in front of a green screen. Why a green screen? Was it because it's very easy to remove a green screen and put something else in, the, in place. Um, why is it so easy? Just because of the color, of course. Just look at which pixels are not green and then you can do something with it. Uh, in our case, it would be easy if birds just flew in front of a green screen and then we'd be able to detect birds by just looking at the pixels which are not green, combining them as an object and then you have the birds. But of course, this is not the case. Um, marine video content has a very dynamic background instead of a static green background. So we need to do something about this. Um, it's, it's dynamic because of the water, of course. The water has waves on it, there's, rip there's ripples on the water, there's reflections, there's shadows. Uh, also, uh, natural birds, uh, in contrast to Alfred, uh, also have different shapes. They move about. Sorry. Uh, the scene at the fact that it's not a green screen, you have to do something else. You have to create an, uh, a background model. Uh, we've done this by looking at the last 20 frames and creating a temporal median background. Then it's the same again. You take the current frame and then you just uh, subtract the model and then you have the, the foreground. But then what remains, um, there's still some water and uh, birds, there's a combination and you have to train a computer, you have to learn a machine how to make a difference between both. Uh, a computer or a machine can see the, the pixel values, uh, it can see the intensity of a pixel, but it can also detect when there's a transition between colors. Uh, that's the gradient information and I've plotted the gradient information as vectors on the, the pictures above and what you do now is if you have enough pictures of label, and if you have enough label pictures of birds and label pictures of water, you can discern the pattern of these uh, key points or just gradients, and you can learn the computer to identify a certain pattern. So, what's the output of this uh, this project or this this, uh, this system? Instead of having to watch uh, videos all the time and trying to count the birds, uh, scientists can just let uh, uh, the video be processed, and then they have an an, uh, an outcome file, uh, an out, uh, output file. Uh, it's called a JSON file, and they can use it to uh, query uh, the data from the video. And another uh, thing that is created within this project is uh, a, a new video which actually shows the information on top. So each bird is indicated; it has an, its own number. Uh, also, the, the flight track is uh, is followed. You can see there's still some things to to be improved. This is because of birds. Uh, who move very, very fast, uh, and there's still some things to, uh, to, to work about. So I'd like to thank you for uh, your intention. I would like to thank my promoters and supervisors again, and also Hitchcock for delivering the images.